and uh, now we shift our focus to international matters and uh, federal police and emergency services in Somalia are investigating the wreckage of a car bomb which killed eight people near Somalia's presidential palace in Mogadishu yesterday. The jihadist group Al-Shabaab has claimed responsibility for the attack NTV's Leila Mohammed reports. Emergency responders see through the wreckage of a vehicle that was used by suicide bombers to execute the latest attack in the Somali capital Mogadishu that has left tens dead and scores injured. The car bomb exploded at a checkpoint near Somalia's presidential palace Villa Somalia on Saturday, killing eight people. Abdi Fattah Adam Hassan, the Somali police spokesman, says the terrorist attack not only soldiers, government officers, but on that day they also killed a mother with her two children who were visiting the MCH center to get her children vaccinated. Witnesses say that they normally stop to check and clear vehicles before they can pass by the choke point. They also say the particular vehicle that exploded was stopped by security guards and it went off while there were several other cars and people passing by the nearby road. Al-Shabaab claimed responsibility in a brief statement. The jihadist group has been in control of the capital until 2011 when it was pushed out by African Union troops. Security agencies say that it still holds territory in the countryside and launches frequent attacks against government and civilian targets in Mogadishu and elsewhere.